Blue Water Beach is one of those places that sucks you right in. Every surfer's on a high, every jogger's blissed out, even the dogs think they're in heaven. As for me, I guess I just can't imagine anywhere else I'd rather be. That's me, doing my daily swim. I have this thing, see, where I have to swim in order to clear my brain out. Some people sing, some people watch DVDs. Me, I swim. Every day for the whole year I've been here, I've come up out of the water with one single thought. How lucky I am to be here. Today's different though. Today it's all about to finish and you want to know something? I really don't know if I can handle it. But hey, I'm getting way ahead of myself here. Let's rewind this thing before I give everything away and spoil it all completely. Now, the deal with this blog is that we have to go all the way back to the start. Sorry, I didn't make the rules. That's how it is, OK? What I can tell you, though, is that this year has been totally awesome. Trust me, it rocked. <laughs> I'm completely honest, and you know, let's face it, honesty is my biggest fault. Sounds weird, I know, but when you get to know me, you'll get what I mean. But my first day at Blue Water Beach didn't go exactly as I'd imagined. In fact, if I was scoring it out of 10, I'd probably give it about minus three. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. See you later. Bye. Bye. It's Cassie Committee here. I'm just calling to let you know that I've arrived and I'm at the Blue Water Beach bus stop. Beach is fabulous, by the way. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, anyway, I guess I'll just hang here till you come and collect me. Thanks, bye. It's okay, Cassie, they're busy people. You can't expect them to sit by the phone all day waiting for you to call, just relax. At the same time as I was doing my best not to feel panicky, some serious stuff was about to go down at Solar Blue. Naturally, we didn't find out about any of this till months later. Just as well, I reckon. Otherwise, I'd probably have done a bunk and been on the next bus home to Mum. Mr Lee? Rebecca Sanderson? Beck, unless you're my grandfather or with the tax department. Afraid I don't qualify on either of those. Uh, Angus. Angus Lee, thanks very much for coming along, Beck. Not a problem. You mentioned you were with Solar Blue, right? Uh, kind of, yes. Kind of? Look, it's, uh, it's a bit complicated. Why don't we go up to the house? We can talk much better there. Whoa. What's all this? When did Simo start getting security conscious? He, he hasn't. I mean, uh, Mr Simmons isn't with the Academy anymore. You're kidding. Please, let's go up to the house. I'll explain everything there. Come on, someone answer. Why is my entire family technologically hopeless? Mum has a mobile but never turns it on. Nobody ever checks to see if the answering machine is working. For all they know, I could be trapped under an avalanche in Antarctica. Are you right there? Sure, fine, thanks. You don't look fine. I'm sorry? I don't know, it just looks like you've been waiting here a while. Either that or you've been chucked out of home. Did I ask your opinion? No, but... My family, who you wouldn't know the first thing about, would never throw a child out of home. Just trying to be helpful. Yeah, well, if I want your help, I'll ask for it. Got it? Loud and clear. Have a nice day. Hey, skater boy. Better check your backpack. Half the load's about to drop off. Yeah. Thanks. See what I mean about how honest I am? A sensible person would have let him skate off out of her life, but oh no, I have to do the right thing. Oh, I knew it. Now he thinks I want to be friends. I've got to get out of here before this gets out of hand. Yeah, hi, I'd 
like a vegetarian, please? Small, thanks. I'm at the Blue Water Beach bus stop. Okay. Sorry about the mess. The painters will be back this afternoon to clean up. You've got a phone message. Oh, I think they can't wait. Probably for the painters anyway. Now, I know these guys have left some coffee around here somewhere. I guess this place has a lot of memories for you, eh? Yep. Sort of. I mean, it's been a while, though. And since then, top of your class in your sports admin course are now doing an excellent job helping run the Athletics League. You've done your homework. Well, it's my job. What is going on around here? Why is the place wrapped up and what has happened to Simo? I work for the Matsushito Corporation. Heard of them? They're a large international company with interests in many fields, one of which is now surfing. The only problem is we know nothing about the sport. So we decided to buy a company that was already established. We looked at Solar Blue, we liked what we saw, and we made an offer. Last week they accepted. So why didn't you keep Simo? He's been running the place for years. He'd be perfect for you. Unfortunately, that wasn't possible. And we decided we wanted somebody younger, somebody more suited to the image we wanted to project. What does that mean? Well, what that means, Beck Sanderson, is I'm offering you a job. Hi. Have a small bird? Yeah, thank you. Listen, do you know where the Solar Blue Academy is? For sure. If I give you the change, do you reckon you could give me a lift there? No problem, and you can keep the change. <laughs> you seriously want me to run the Academy? That's the idea. But why me? You've been through here as a competitor, so you know what it's all about. You know surfing, and you're a very good administrator. How do you know that? We asked your boss. You talked to my boss? Well, he was very complimentary. Said that this was a great opportunity for you. <laughs> Boy, you guys really are thorough. We have to be. We've invested a lot of money in this. Here, take this home and have a good look at it. What is it? Your contract. I think you'll find it's a very good deal. Well, when do you want an answer? Well, we've got six teenagers coming in tomorrow afternoon, so house first thing in the morning. Tomorrow? Beck, look, I know this is all quite sudden. Yeah, you could say that again. But we've had to get everything together very quickly. Look, it's a fantastic chance for you. Please think about it, seriously. Are you sure this is the right place? Yeah, see right there, solar blue. Thank you so much. I can't tell you how grateful I am. No worries. Oh, Cassie. Yeah, Peter. Oh, yeah, right, thanks. <laughs> Ciao. Normally, I don't expect people to make a fuss of me, but after two days of getting here on a bus, You'd reckon they'd provide a better welcome than this. What is going on here? I could never run this place on my own, you know. Besides, the kids would need a full-time experienced surfing coach. Absolutely. We've shortlisted two guys, both ex-pros, both very keen to take the job. They're running for interviews the day after tomorrow. You've thought of everything, haven't you? Well, like I said, we had to work very fast. Look, I'll be up front. It sounds like a fantastic opportunity, but I could never accept. Why not? Simo's been running the academy for years. He became like a second father to some of us. I could never step in knowing he'd been fired. Well, who said he was fired? Oh, I thought... Well, no way. We wanted him to stay. It was his choice to leave. Thought it was time for a change. Really? Not only that, it was his recommendation that you should take the job in the first place. What? He said that we'd have rocks in our heads if we didn't hire you. Simo said that. Now, any other questions? Not for the moment. OK. Come on, then. I'll give you a lift. Oh, it's OK. I'm in the car park. Hello? I can't believe this. Something seriously wrong's happening here. Hello? Anyone home? Anyone there? 
think it's just us. Well, what are you doing here? I was just about to ask you the same question, actually. Oh, you stay where you are. Don't come any closer. What is your problem? Oh, I've seen the news, right? I do read newspapers. Well, congratulations. Oh, so I know all about stalkers, OK? What? Stalkers? You take one more step and I'm calling triple zero. Oh, like, listen, you have the wrong idea. I'm here for Solar Blue. Oh, you are? Yes. I'm one of this year's intake. Oh, really? That's cool. So am I. Well, fine. Then we can work this out together then. Well, hold it. How can you prove it? Why should I have to prove it? I have just as much right to be here as you. Come to think of it, can you prove who you are? You should have a letter, right, from Solid Blue? Right, and you? Well, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. <laughs> Fine. Mine's in my pack out the front. Mine too. Well, I'll lead the way then, shall I? OK, I know what you're thinking. I was overreacting, right? But here I am in this strange place where I'm supposed to spend the next year of my life and it's all closed up and the only person around is this boy who keeps popping up out of nowhere. And you've got to admit, it's kind of freaky. The solar blue folder, right? See, that's me, Adam Bridge, 34 Ocean Avenue, Kawara Bay. New South Wales, Australia, the Earth, the solar system. Satisfied? But Hannah, I know that you're really him. I mean, you could have stolen that, you could have forged it. Forged it? Why would I do that? I don't know. There's some seriously wacko people going around, right? Yeah. And I've seen them. Yeah, yeah, on... on TV and in the papers. Well, exactly. All right, well, maybe this will do it for you. Call her a bird observers? Mm. You watch birds, like, fly around and sit in trees and stuff? Yeah, you have a problem with that? No, no, no. I've just never met anyone who actually watches birds. That's really interesting. Thanks. I'll sleep a lot better tonight knowing that you approve. OK, your turn. Sorry? I've proved who I am, so... Oh, yeah, right. Um, now, which one did I... Oh, yeah, I, I put it down the bottom here because Mum made me put it with my surf stuff. She's always at me to be properly organised, which I normally am, but no! Marnie, my little sister, took the letter out to read. She's such a sticky beak. And she put it in... I don't know where she put it. Don't worry about it. I'll take your word for it. Thanks. What's your name, anyway? Oh, Cassie. Cassie Cometti from Point Baranoc. What's that? Um, near Adelaide, sort of south. You haven't been there? Can't say I have. It's cool. Not many people have. It's kind of out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, here we are. Yeah, for what it's worth. It's not much of a welcome, is it? No. What do you think we should do? For a start, might as well get all our baggage off the road. What do you say? Good idea. OK, now, pass the other one. Yeah, that one. OK. Got it? Yeah. <coughs> Got it. And now the board. OK. Careful, careful, careful. Being careful. <laughs> oh. <sighs> there you go. Thank you. You didn't bring much. Just as well. Doesn't look like there's going to be much storage space after all your stuff goes in. Oh, I've never been away from home before. At least not for a whole year. Mum thought I should be prepared. Yeah, well, look at it this way. If the whole surfing thing doesn't work out, then you can always open your own clothes store. Ha-ha, <laughs> it's not that bad. Two o'clock. What time do you reckon the other guys are going to get here? Well, soon, I hope. It's a bit freaky being here on our own. Mm. What do you say to a surf? What? Now? Yeah, I mean, we got to fill in the time somehow, and there's some decent-looking sets coming through. Come on, might as well get a jump in our competition. OK, you're on. <laughs> <laughs> You weren't too shabby yourself. 
What did you learn? Oh, my dad told me. Me and my three sisters have all had boards since we could walk. Mm. You? Accidentally, actually. Everyone else was doing it, so I started doing it too. And then I got hooked. Haven't missed a day in about five years. I don't know how I could have been so sus about Adam. The more I got to know him, the more I could see he was a really nice guy. And he was one heck of a surfer. I just hoped all the others would be as nice too. That's if they ever turned up, of course. Oh man, I am seriously hungry. We've got to figure out a way to get some food. Well, I could have called pizza and I don't mind sharing. <laughs> <laughs> don't think I'm quite that hungry. Come on, where's your... Those bags up there yours? You want to explain what they're doing there? And why you're both trespassing? And why you're breaking through a fence that had signs clearly telling you to keep we out? We didn't break in. A neighbour witnessed you do it. I just saw you do the same thing again. It's not what you think. We can explain everything, I swear. All my life, I've been the good girl who never caused trouble. I made my bed, my homework was always on time. I never even jaywalked. Suddenly, I'm this criminal trespasser being grilled by the cops. Mum is going to kill me. I know you're going overseas tomorrow, but there was something I really wanted to talk to you about. I hope that's okay. These sneakers in Italy. She'd murder me if she saw what I was doing to them. I hope your news will mean that I'm not risking my life for nothing. <laughs> well, where do we stand? I spoke to my mum, my dad, my boss. All very sensible. And I also spoke to Simo. Oh, and what did he say? Basically the same thing everybody else said. Which was? If I didn't take this job, he'd never speak to me again. So you'll do it? Looks like I have no choice. Congratulations, Beck. You've made the right choice, believe me. I just hope you've made the right choice. If I stuff this up... You won't. Don't even think about it. Now, come on, we've got a lot to talk about. <laughs> I've organised some keys for you in various forms to sign and bank account to... Uh, anything wrong, Beck? You're filling my head with all of this admin stuff. But you've told me nothing about the most important thing of all. Uh, which is... Who have we got this year? The kids. Oh, yes, the kids. Good point. Uh, please. The Solar Blue didn't hold selection trials this year. Instead, Simo invited the top juniors from the major surf comps held around the country. Now, the standout qualifier is a boy called Charlie Prince. He's from Perth, over in the West. On just about every event he's ever entered. His name might be Prince, but they call him the King. Hopefully his huge early success hasn't gone to his head. Hi, Charlie. Great to meet you. I hear you've been doing tremendous things. Nothing compared with what I aim to do. This will be a serious year, won't it? Serious? Yeah, full-on training, proper skills development. None of this kiddie stuff. Otherwise, we'll be wasting each other's time. Why don't we give it a few weeks and see how things pan out? Fine. I can live with that. From down south near Lawn, we have Lauren Power. She's self-taught, needs some coaching in technique, apparently. But Simo thinks she has fantastic potential. She also needs help to build her belief in herself. It's such a thrill to be here, Bex. I can't tell you how thrilled and it's thrilling. Well, we're very happy to have you here. I just hope I can keep up with everyone else. I read their CVs, they're awesome. You'll be fine. Just relax, enjoy it. The rest will come. Thank you. 
I just can't wait to get started. Next, we've got this kid from Caloundra, Guy Spender. This boy is a surfing machine. In the water, he's very aggressive, hates losing and takes no prisoners. Out of the water, he's the complete reverse. So laid back, you'd think he's not even trying. You must be Guy, right? Hi, and you're Perry Law, right? No, I'm Beck Sanderson. Oh, are you sure? Pretty sure. I've been Beck Sanderson for the past 20 years. Oh. Right, because I looked at the past intakes on the web and I swear you were Perry. No. Sorry to disappoint you, Guy. Oh, that's cool. To have a year at this place, I'd be happy to work with the gorilla. Oh, sorry, not that I'm saying that, that you're a gorilla. It's like, fine. I didn't... I'm glad we've sorted that out. Great. From up near Coolum, we have one Bridget Sanchez. Now, she's won more comps than any other junior in Australia this year. Well, she's a classy server who's very determined to make it to the top. If attitude means anything, then she might very well get there. I really want to thank you for this fantastic opportunity. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. Don't thank me, Bridget. You got here all on your own. I'm absolutely determined to make every moment of every day count. Well, that's a very positive attitude. Any comments or criticism, please feel free to pass them on. Right, well, because I... Because I really want to learn as much as I can. I mean, that's, that's how you improve, right? Right. And finally, we have our own two wild cards. Wild cards? Well, Simo found them by accident when he was surfing a few out-of-the-way beaches. Adam Bridge and Cassie Cometti. Apparently, neither of them had done much competition, but he liked the look of them. He said that taking them on would be risky, but he thought that if they applied themselves, the risk might just be worth it. And I think you'll find it'll be a great year for all of them. Stoked, yeah. So where are these two? They should be here by now, shouldn't they? Yes. I'll give their parents a call to check. Excuse me, Beck. Yes, Lauren. There's a policeman here. A policeman? Says he wants to speak to the person in charge. Hello, Beck. Sergeant Leslie, what's going on? I've got something that belongs to you. To me? I found these two yesterday. They made their way here, but there was no one here to meet them. Fortunately, a neighbour reported them to us. So I was able to find them some food and a bed down at the station. These two spent day one in the local lockup. <laughs> That's awesome. If this is any indication of how Solar Blue looks after kids in its care, it's pretty unimpressive. Officer, I, I did send a message to all the families asking the kids to delay their arrival till today. Uh, for some reason, obviously, these two didn't get it. That's not an excuse. Any repetition of this will seriously jeopardise your licence to run this place. You got me? Absolutely. Please be assured this won't happen again. Good. This wouldn't have happened when Simo was running things. Guys, why didn't you call? I did. I left a message on your answering machine. Yeah, same here. Well, you're here safely now, and that's the main thing, and we're very happy to see you. Guys, maybe you could make these two feel welcome. Angus. Perhaps you and I ought to have a little chat about communications. Uh, yes, that, uh, sounds reasonable. So, sounds like you guys have had excitement plus. Something like that. We're beginning to wonder if you were really coming. Well, we're sure here now. Hi, I'm Cassie. Hello, I'm Lauren. Hey, man, Hi, I'm Guy. Hi, hey, nice to meet you. Charlie. Nice to meet you, too. I've got to say, this is one pretty cool way to arrive, dude. <laughs> yeah. So that was my introduction to life at Solar Blue. Not exactly out of the textbook, but hey, I wasn't complaining. <laughs> I knew there'd be much bigger hurdles to jump in the air ahead. I also knew that I was sure to fall and hurt myself a few times. But right at that moment, I just couldn't wait to get started.